عند الصدمة الأولى. Patience is at the first stroke of calamity. After that is not patient. Huh? Yes. So God forbid if you receive this bad news of cancer and you say Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, MashaAllah. Ya Allah, you gave me this trial, you helped me. No, that is patience. But you say, no, I can't believe. Then later on with blood tests, you start realizing you didn't get the reward. The reward is at the first news. That is, that is the reward. So please, sisters, the first thing we say when we hear someone die, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi The first thing. That means you are aware of Allah. You are aware of Allah. And you are on Hidayah. Sheikh, I want to know if I am on Hidayah. Look at you when you hear bad news. And the closest the person to you, the difficult for you to say, Inna lillah wa inna rajaun. Hey, you may say, Inna lillah wa inna for your father and mother, but you might not say it for your kids. Why? Because you always think they live after you. You, you die before them. Well, Allah can call anything, anytime. Remember the dua I ta taught you? <coughs> I shared with you yesterday, I repeat it. This dua, never forget it. From now on, until you die. This is dua of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But subhanAllah, many people don't know about this dua. Allahumma, inni, I will, I will. Allahumma, inni, a'udhu bika min as-salbi ba'd al-ata'a. Very simple. Wallah, I seek refuge in you to give me and then take from me. So I'm seeking refuge in you from depriving me from something after you have given it to me. Yes, because Allah can take something he has given you. Ya Allah, please, if you have given me health, if you gave me these classes, these doros, this knowledge, if you gave me, alhamdulillah, good children, keep them good. They may live, but turn, na'udhu billah, naughty, if you have time. If you hear that you still have black, they turn white. super white, not even white. That they hair. No, serious. Allah may give you something and then take it. Because you didn't thank him enough. That is one of the reasons why Allah takes a ni'mah. Or you change the ni'mah. You change it. No. So please, my sisters, uh, a lot of people caused also that to themselves. When you start doing things to your body, such as Botox and this and that. Then you start destroying yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sheikh, when you mention when it means patience here, it doesn't mean that you cannot feel sad or you cannot feel mm -mm. upset. No, it's just that you, the way you react. You know what she was doing? Actually, she in another hadith, same woman. She was throwing sand. Oh. And why you left me? She was talking to her son. Oh. Why you left me? Why you? So Rasulullah, I, I, if he saw her just crying, he wouldn't even say anything, <laughs> because crying is weeping. You know, crying. But not wailing. Ah, ah, ah. That is haram. And please, learn. You will harm your death. If you love someone, don't wail on him or her. Cry. It's normal. Sheikh, I cannot stop crying. No problem, sister. Sheikh, it has been for the last four or five days. We, we understand. You have good heart, you keep crying. No problem. But no, you are always upset. How come? Why? Why me? Why my children? Why my husband? Why my father? Astaghfirullah. Uh, from this experience, I have, I have to learn this. Uh, it takes time. Throughout the years, I've kind of, whenever I hear bad news, it's like, you know, Good. tell myself to calm down. But I learned it more from my father because whenever he heard bad news, um, my father passed away, right? Yeah, yeah. He would never react. He would always, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And Alhamdulillah. Very good. And, but he wouldn't show his emotions. He would just walk away. Even when his mother passed away, he never cried. Mm. His siblings passed away, he never cried. So I learned that more from him. Yeah. But for me, I keep telling myself that, okay, don't say anything first. You know, it's, yes. it's something you have to practice. Yes, it, yes, yes. It doesn't come in. Yes, time. of course. Okay, yeah. it, look, sisters, just be patient. Mm -hmm. And even if you make a mistake and you say something wrong, say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, I didn't mean Allah. It's okay. But, please, Alhamdulillah, now you are learning the deen. What's the purpose of learning? And then, God forbid, if anything happens now, the first thing we do is, no way, I can't believe it. Stop. Why you cannot believe it? Because my, uh, death is not part of our thinking process. 
I told you, the Sahaba considered someone who remembers, mentions death 20 times a day as wise. You want to know if you are wise? When you mention death a lot. Or when death is mentioned in front of you, you, you like it. You like this uh, subject. What does it mean, I like it? Meaning it softens you. It makes you, alhamdulillah, yeah, one day it happens. So that when it happens, sister, you're psychologically ready to accept. Can you return someone who died? Very good. You lost. You lost someone. You want to lose pahala too? Double loser? Good for you. I lost someone dear to me. I shouldn't lose the pahala. That's how a Muslim should be. Ya Rab, you have taken this person from me, from my life. Please, inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un. And make dua for that person. This is it. Is it okay to say inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un to the person who is sick? No. Very good. Correct that. The Malaysians, huh? don't say inna lillah wa inna raji'un when you hear someone sick. It means you, you want to bunkus him or her. <laughs> no, but it's, it's a calamity, no? Yeah, but it's not inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Allahumma shfi anta shafi. There is dua. Yalla, repeat after me. Allahumma. Inni. A'udhu bika. Min as-salbi. Ba'd al-aqa. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from depriving me after you have given me. Anything, whatever your... That's the dua, the first one. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un An ayah, part of an ayah That is when someone dies But when you hear someone sick, accident Say Allahumma shfi Allahumma shfi Anta shafi La shifa'a illa shifa'uk Shifa'an la yibadir saqara Sheikh, I cannot memorize all this No problem, say Oh Allah, give shifa Ya Rab, give shifa That's all But both cannot No, until he dies Because in the Quran, the ayah doesn't say death Musibah No, the musibah is death in Arabic, the word musibah is death. There is no other interpretation for musibah except death. I know. I know a lot of things in Malaysia, mashallah. I am going to write a book called Only in Malaysia. <laughs> and apparently this book will be six, seven volumes by now.